Weeds. 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 Hi guys, welcome back to Gardening with Creations by DX and Co. As you just saw, weeds. Wow, if you're anything like me, you absolutely hate the beginning of the garden season, trying to weed all of your beds. We have a lot of flower beds. We have a lot of uh, vegetable garden beds and weeding is just kind of the bane of our existence, right? And it feels like it's an all year long thing. People keep telling me that boiling water is the best all natural solution for killing weeds. So I thought today we would try a little experiment of Mythbusters. Does boiling water actually kill weeds? Come along with us. Let's see if we can't give it a try together. All right, I've got my Instapot, turning it on. If you've never seen one of these Compresso machines, this is what we use to make tea with. As you saw there, it is just pure water that I'm putting in this, of course, at the moment. And then just for the sake of it, I'm also boiling a pot of water. Although both of them boil, I want to make sure that I'm testing whether or not it makes a difference. So we're doing a true Mythbusters test on this. Now, as you can see with this one, it is already starting to generate some bubbles in there, and I will show you when it's actually boiling before we head outside with it. All right, a couple minutes later, as you can see, we've got a true boil going on. We're gonna take it outside, pour it on the plants. Okay, so. We're gonna do the driveway test first in the cracks of the driveway here with our boiling water. And you can see the steam coming right off of it. Just pouring it directly on, trying to get it down to the roots. So we get a true test here. And that is six cups, 48 ounces of pure boiling water right on those weeds. So, we will do another test with a pot of boiling water on some other driveway crack weeds. We'll give this a minute and come back to it and see how it actually does. All right, so you can see our pot is definitely at a rolling boil now. Let's go try it on the driveway weeds. Okay, so here we go. Our pot of boiling water. This is very hot. Should have grabbed some pot holders. So this is a six quart, 5.7 liter pot that I just poured on there. Let's we'll see how that does. So a couple of things back to our original spot here. You can see that, you know, it is pretty shaded in this area where we poured these in our original spot. Uh, they look wilty, but I wouldn't say dead, not instantly anyways. We may have to wait 24 hours to verify if they're actually dead or not. But you're probably thinking a lot like me, well, I'd like to see what it does on actual grass weeds instead of in a driveway. So let's boil some more water and test that next. Okay, so we're in the original part of my garden and as you can see, I kind of let the weeds just kind of take over because I haven't been working in this area, but here's some of that boiling water gonna concentrate just in one spot here I'm wondering if this will work as well you know because we have all that soil but we'll see pour it directly on there give it a minute also uh, I'll go right next to it with the actual pot just to see if the tea kettle works different than the pot as you can see this area that I just poured it on is relatively shady and then we'll do some sunshine on the right next to it so 
All right, so we've got this sunny spot right next to it. We're gonna pour all of this hot boiling water right on top of it. So we've now been 24 hours later. Remember this one was kind of a little bit more of the shaded area. We did this with the boiling water and it looks like honestly the roots that's definitely still holding on so i would say that one's not really so successful on that one let's take a look at the other area all right so here's the other area we did with the boiling pot of water and you can see these plants are looking pretty dead at least the foliage is right however I don't know about the roots. Let's pull this out here. Still have to pull the weed. And you can see there, I still had to pull the weed. Still had a bit of a tug. So I don't know. It definitely looks like it killed the foliage, but maybe not down to the root. Let's go take a look at the grass area that we did. All right. So taking a look at this here, I mean, the positive side is... It definitely looks like it killed it. Now, I would say it probably didn't get down to the root, but it definitely looks like they're dead. I mean, yeah, I still have to tug really hard. It killed the foliage for sure, but I doubt that it killed the roots. So maybe if you were to weed all this stuff by hand, and then actually pour it on top you might kill all the roots that way so did it work i don't know say so maybe this myth is actually busted what are your thoughts have you guys ever tried this wow so there you have it guys uh i leave the decision up to you let me know in the comments below do you feel like this was a worthwhile mythbusters do you think it actually uh, does work have you ever had it be successful before maybe i did something wrong i have done other mythbusters on all natural weed killer before but this was one that again was just really recommended to me and that it works really well i give it a try the results speak for themselves <laughs> You guys let me know whether or not you thought this was a successful test or not. And uh, maybe go out and try it on your garden. Let me know how it goes. As always, I hope you guys are staying safe and enjoying your gardens. Thanks for watching.